This is pretty amazing. Discover the power of ChatGPT 4's DYDX trading algo here in this video. Watch this. Build me a trading algo for DYDX and trade the VWAP. Let's see what it does. You can see it's already written all this code for me, so it's pretty phenomenal already. But I just want to show you how powerful this really is. Because you can say, hey, build, build it based off of VWAP, build it based off of the simple moving average, build it off of whatever you want. So if you're trying to automate your trading, this is how you do it. You remove all emotions from trading, and that's exactly why I started doing it. I'm just a regular dude, but nobody else was sharing this information. So I kind of have to share it. And I just show you my day to day here. And this is part of my day to day. Now I'm a 10 X engineer. Now I used to be a decent engineer. Now I'm a 10 X engineer. I used to not know how to code. Now I know how to code algos and this <laughs> building with chat GPT has made it so much easier. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at see what's going on here in BTC land. It looks like we're moving just whatever whatever way we're moving doesn't really matter to me as i'm not really looking at charts too much well i look at the charts to kind of decide strategies and then i just build them out inside of chat gpt and inside of code but i've been building out this algo here and we were working on this max risk position and as you can see here i said if we are long the position turns into 210 we were long a position at 557 and then it turns into 210. So that's super weird because our current balance is actually 768. So in these videos, I'm sorry, I just jump right into them, but this is really the only way I can make content is if I show you what I'm actually doing during the day. So um, if you want to see like step by step how to become an algo trader with ChatGPT, it's never been easier. So you can probably just jump in by yourself. But if you want me to hold your hand, I have a boot camp for that. Hold your hand through the process, zero to hero. And then also I'm giving away $500 USDC for anybody who shares this video, you get a chance to win. So there's a vi this video that we're watching right now. Click share, Twitter, and then change YouTube to Moon Dev on YT. I should pop up there. Click tweet and then follow me and you're entered to win that giveaway. And I'll also probably give out a couple versions of the boot camp as well. So let's go ahead and see where we're at. I'm trying to figure out here how to update our balance in order to make sure it doesn't change. So what is 768 minus 5? 57. I'm pretty sure that would be 210. Otherwise, this is going to be a little trickier. I hope it's 210. Five, 768 minus 557 equals about 210. So with the fees and whatnot, not the fees, but the uh, after the decimal point should be about right. So if we're long, If we are long, we need to add the balance plus position. And then if we're short, if we are short, we need to subtract the balance minus position to get the real bow. So let's go ahead and do that. So the real balance here is going to be different than bow plus PL sum So how can we do this? We need to see what the side is. Do we have the side is the question. We get the side here or the position info at least. And I believe the side, let's go ahead and get side. Side equals 
position info two, I believe. Let's just go to definition real quick just to make sure. Zero, uh, that's not it. Go to definition, position info. So it said it was two, zero, zero, one, two, that's symbol. Zero, one, two, three is side. Okay, so let's go back to that then. Lock out, checker. Did I say three? Shoot, I don't remember what I said. I think it said three. I'm gonna check one more time. Zero, one, two, three, yes. So let's go back to lockout checker here. And now we have the side, okay? So let's take this out and let's put it down here. And let's take these notes here and also put them down here. Don't need this bound. Actually, I'll keep it there for now. Paste this in. So we have our notes down here and now we have to write this code. So let's write it. Right above code. Is it gonna write it for us or not? Okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna write it. I'm using Copilot. If, so I'll just write it, thou, if side equals long, dang, it's not it, buddy. Is it raining? No. So if side equals long, then balance, what did I say here? If we are long, we need to balance plus position. Bow equals bow plus position. plus position side. So how do we get position size? I think I have this here. Go to definition. Realize size. I wonder if we can get size in USD though. Zero, one, two, three, four. So four would be where we get it. Let's print out, let's get size real quick. Okay, let's print size. And I think that will be good for now. Let's just run this because I wanna see what the size is versus the versus the, uh, oh, I should have printed the side too. Print, just to make sure it's working. It's a thunderstorm here, so I might lose power. But that's pretty typical island life. Okay, we're not in a position, that's why. Okay, so let's get a position on, 10, place order, I'm in. Let's run it again. All right, so this is a DF size, 756, no, size is 10. Okay, so we need to find the USD size. So let's go to position info here.
and print open position info. Because I feel like this will give us all the information we need, hopefully. Doesn't. Okay, well, that's fine because we can just do math. So what we're gonna do here is down in the lockout checker, we're just gonna do some math and we'll do size, size USD. U, USD equals size times, times ask bid in the zero position because that'll be the ask I believe let's just double check it ask bid zero yes but is it gonna give me an error because we're using a float maybe so I'm gonna change it to a float float of the ask bid of the symbol And then we'll print size USD because this is important to know in order to make sure we never hit our max loss. So eleven dollars and fifteen cents. That's right. Perfect. So that is perfect, perfect, perfect. And since we have the size, now we can move on. So what we want to do here, if long, then we say balance. What does it say? If long, we need to add the balance plus position to get the real balance. Plus size USD. LF side equals short, then bal equals that. That's right. If short, we need to subtract the balance from the position size, right? So the position size was 768 in a position of 557, but now the balance is 1325. And then else, value equals value. I don't even need to do that, but I did. Because, why not? Okay, I'm gonna close that position just before I forget. Well, I should have kept it open, dang it. Let's do this now. Um, print uh, print val and then we're gonna test it so we're gonna have a balance we're gonna do it three times ba let's run it once no position okay 767 and I'll pull this over so you can see it 767 in my account perfect now let's enter a position and this needs to be a big position well not huge but something we can actually tell. Let's click short. Now, what is our balance? It should be balance minus, it should be the same balance. It should show the same now. Before it wasn't showing the same. 990, huh? That's weird. What kind of equation is it doing? Let's think this through. So, dy dx balance of 879. Oh, it's because this is negative right here. So, what is that? That's the size is negative? Got it. So this should be absolute. And let's run it back. Now it should work. Maybe. Maybe it won't. Hope so. 767. And see 767. Perfect. Okay, so it's off by seven cents, but that's fine. It's so weird it does that. 
how much is it off by? 767? It's off by seven cents. So maybe that's the position. But later we go in here and we get the PL sum and we add in the sum. Okay, I think we fixed our problem. So I'm gonna close this position and now let's test it long. So 767 short works. Let's go ahead and test this now. Let's run it. Seven sixty-seven. Cool. So we are Gucci on this problem. And this was a big problem for me because it was messing up the lockout checker. And the lockout checker is super important because it doesn't let me lose more than a percent per day. So. My thesis is if my bots never, ever, ever lose more than a percent per day, well, they're going to live forever. So I might change that to 5%, 10%, I don't know, but I'll test it. And that's just my thesis. So I'm not recommending anything on this channel, of course. I just am building the build. And if you want to use some of this code, feel free, but you know, make sure to just test it yourself. It's always important. So, okay. It looks like. We're chilling here. And what do we want to do next is a question. I think what we do need to do is listed on here. So that was a must do and we finished it. So congrats to you and I. Thank you for accompanying me on that one. That was very important because we have this 1% loss limit, but it was breaking last night. And that's what I do is I build live here on YouTube. And then over the night, I, I'll test it. Like, and then we'll see bugs and then I'll come back the next day. And, and then when it's done, I just put it in the bootcamp. So when it's actually done, I'll just throw it in here. So I'll make sure all codes in there so you can just have fun with it. Build a bunch of cool stuff. So let's say done on this. It always feels so good to finish on. I don't know about you, but. Oh, let's do this one. Oh, build a sleep after close. How would we do that? Trying to think how would we do the sleep after close which one's more important the sleep after close or if already orders i think both of them are pretty important i'm gonna move this one off this list i think these are the two that i want to get done right now so to do today if already orders no need to set more so that's a good one. It doesn't really affect my alpha though. This one does. The f I want to sleep after close 15 minutes. If filled within the last 15 minutes, and I'll ask ChatGPT. On DYDX, how would I pull my last fills and see the time of those fills, then make a function that sleeps for 15 minutes if there was a fill in the last 15 minutes. but still checks our PNL close function. 
our PL close function during those 15 minutes to monitor risk. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT has to say about this because it will give me some ideas on how to execute it. So I want to build a function for sure. And we'll do that down here. This is so ugly. I'm sorry. So many lines. I need to make a new uh, file. But, you know, I'm just building fast. Path, get fills. No, that's not going to be it. I just want my account fills. I wonder if it can do this. To get your account fills, you'll need to modify get fills function. DYDX is quite new as a problem. So I would actually say that ChatGP is not that helpful sometimes. It's better for like building functions, like maybe not directly of how to get it from DYDX, but let's go ahead and look at the docs. DYDX docs. Say private onboarding, get API keys, get account, get positions, create withdrawal, create fast withdrawal, create a new order. I didn't know we could do this. That's cool. You can do a fast, fast withdrawal. Order types cancel orders, get orders, get fills. That's exactly what I wanted, baby. So let's go down here and look at that. ChatGPT did not help you with this. Uh, actually, this is what I'll do. Uh, please update it. Please update the code, update the code to work with the code from their documentation below. So that's all fills. And then let's just see what happens here. I've never done this before. So this is cool. Let's say DYDX station below. Let's run it. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's no equals there. That's going to be confusing. Maybe. We'll see. To update the code to work with DYDX Python client, first install the package, blah, blah, blah. Already done all that. Let's go ahead here. I can delete this now. Let's say. No over trading def this function. Well, it's going to write for us async, huh? Okay. Interesting. Do it without async though. Just because I've used it a few times, but 
don't really need that speed to to be testing like uh, not speed but how can I say this uh, it doesn't need to be synchronous yeah I, I feel like uh, async go is good for speed and to make sure like if you're trying to be a market maker or something so like a couple of my market maker algorithms use it So how is this working? Market equals BTC USD. Okay, implement it into this main part of my bot. Instead of using your main, implement it into my main bot function. I can figure this out, but I'd rather just not think. Uh, don't, don't tell me you're gonna write all the code again. Well, I guess that's fine. Take your time, buddy. You're not quite as fast as GPT-3 but that's okay. So let's grab this, this function, because I think we're gonna need it. Okay. Let's grab this one, paste it in there, and then Daily max loss, this is our code now. Then position info, we get the position info. And then we still do our little try thing. And then for symbol and symbol, we do PL close. Now the question is do we want to do the PL close first or after? Let's see. Let's go ahead and put it first, 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 first. This would be first symbol. Mark equals symbol and all fills. Print a fill occurred in the last 15 minutes. If fill was in the last 15 minutes, so it's gonna check that. I can't imagine this works, but we'll see. Usually it doesn't work right off bat, but. Do I wanna buy or sell? What, what happened to my balance? All fills. Okay, so first off, I need to see why is my balance all weird. It's fine. It's not fine. Did we fix that? I thought we fixed it. Lockout loss. This is lockout loss. Print, this is lockout loss. Last bow. Oh, it's because my balances are weird. They were weird prior. Remember, we just fixed it, so. gonna put it as this and now let's go ahead and fix this so I get this error 
I get this error. And I think I'm just going to try to fix this because all fills. So fills 1 8. Dang, this, long, this is too much code, in my opinion. 1080. Let's go to 1080. What the heck? 1080. Oh, way down here. I can't believe I have 1080 fills. Okay, all fills equals fills. What's ChatGPT going to say with it? Let's go ahead and print all fills. Let's run it back. That's weird. Okay, so fills that data. This is the what we actually need. Taker market created twelve twelve four eight. So that's probably the last one. I don't know what type of time zone it's on, but that's the tricky part. <clears throat> market. So in this function, what are we passing in? Because I can see what we need. We pass in fills for fill and fills. Oh, it is fills though. So let's look at 1080 again. See here. Oh, okay. So this needs to be dot data. All fills equals all fills dot data. I just forgot the dot data. I wonder if it told me that here in this. No, it didn't. Maybe it did though. Let's see what it does if we do dot JSON. Curious to see if that method works because it's a chance to learn for me. Okay, so that didn't work, but my way is going to work for sure. Not for sure, but I think it's going to work because I changed it to all fills dot data into the fills and it gave us data. So why wouldn't it give? GPT data, not GPT. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Okay, perfect. So please update the update the sleep and no, uh, fill in last minutes function to fix this bug. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say. I initially assumed timestamp is different. So def was in fill. Let's go ahead and see what it changes here. I can delete this for now. 
I'll close it. Wow, taking some time here, buddy. You getting scared? Come on, baby. There it is. It was just ch tripping. Okay, let's try this now. And I need to make sure to bring in all that stuff. I love this so much. Even when it doesn't work, I still love it because it's just like mind blowing to me. Nice. So it just works now. But let's see what happens if I change it to a different time. So where do I even put the time? This is a one part oh, 15 minutes. Mm. Time between trades. That's our new name for that. And I'm gonna put it at the very top here. And we're gonna call it this. We're gonna put it right there and we're gonna say 30 minutes. Because now I do have a trade in the last 30 minutes. And if I do have a trade in the last 30 minutes, I wanna cancel all orders. Cancel, client, cancel all orders. So let's make sure to do that. Well, I think it should be and I'll close it. What do we need in here? The symbol. Symbol. So we pass in the sim. We pass in the target max loss. Thank you. And then kill switch to no we don't want to do the kill switch do we because what if we're in a position I don't know if we want to do that but we do want to cancel all orders Print, canceling all orders and sleeping for time between trades, minutes. Perfect. Okay, so now we have open orders, I think. Now we don't, but I can put an open order in. Let's do a limit order. Uh, it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna fill it. Well, I might. And let's see if it does it now. So I have a closed position here, fills 24 minutes ago. I just put 30 minutes in. And just to show you, you can see here, last order was 24 minutes ago. So now, it sh and we did 30 minutes now, so it should just cancel that order, right? My imposition as well? I don't know. Okay, a fill occurred in the last 15 minutes. Sleeping and checking. Sweet. So it didn't get me out of the order. Perfect. All right, so this looks to work. Thank you, ChatGBT. That's amazing. It wrote that for me because I didn't even have to think about it. I just kind of worked with it back and forth. So let's change this part. 15 minutes, 15. This can be a uh, sleep and check PML. This can be dynamic. Let's go ahead and change that to uh, time between trades. And then also, this, what is this? 
time between the trades. Okay. This is really big because now I won't over trade. So one of my worries that kept me up at night, maybe they keep me up at night, but one of my worries was what if we're like in a falling market, the bias is long and it just keeps buying, getting rocked, selling, buying, getting rocked, selling, buying, getting rocked, selling. And it just does that all night. Like while I'm not monitoring it, that would suck. So sleeping 30 minutes between, I feel like it's a pretty solid strategy or however many minutes I want to. I just gotta figure out where did I just go? There was a 15 somewhere. Was filled in the last 15 minutes. Okay, so I don't know why this is saying 30 minutes, but then not. Oh, because it's probably doing 30 seconds. Times 60 B. So now you're actually sleeping for 30 minutes. No, it shouldn't sleep for 30 minutes though, because if it sleeps for 30 minutes, then it's going to, it's gonna be asleep for too long. Sleeping for 180 seconds. 180 seconds and check and again. Perfect. But do we need to check the PL close? Yes. We do absolutely need to check the PL close. We just don't need to. I'm going to check 60, 60 seconds because things can change. 30 seconds, things can change fast. So it's going to sleep for 30 seconds. Should have just kept it. But we do need to check the PL close. We'll kill, keep the kill switch as false so it doesn't just kill any positions because it would kill positions we're in. But it needs to check to make sure that we're not like getting rocked on a position during that 30 minutes, you know? No, I didn't want to, well, that's fine. Okay, so now it's gonna sleep 30 seconds and then let's see if it works. So theoretically, it should sleep 30 seconds, check the PL close again, make sure we're good. If we're not good, exit and then it will sleep again for 30 seconds. So I'm just waiting here 30 seconds. And by the way, I'm giving away $500 USDC. All you have to do, is scroll down to this video that you're watching right now and click share on Twitter. So just share on Twitter. So it did check the PL. And then when you get to Twitter, all you're gonna do is type in Moondev. You're gonna tag me instead of YouTube. It should just tag me but it doesn't. So tweet and then follow me and then you're entered to win the 500 USDC. Now, also, if you want me to actually teach you this stuff step-by-step, step, go ahead and just join the bootcamp. That's where I actually teach this. Uh, as you can see in this video, I'm doing, right? So it's the only way I can really make content is if I show you what I'm doing every day. So I do that, but everything else in the bootcamp plus seven algorithms. I just paused for a second because I was thinking, when we're running the PL close, are we gonna cancel orders? Okay, so what I was thinking is maybe, what if we put an order on PL close and then accidentally canceled it? Well, actually the PL close will loop in it within itself. So you, in another video or in the bootcamp, I show you how to do that. Um, but the PL close essentially loops forever until it closes if we're hitting our max loss, which is a PL percentage. So we're building a lot. We're pretty, pretty far along on this algo here. We've done a great job. ChatGBT has been outstanding. You've been outstanding. 
Let's see what else. Let's go ahead and put a done here. Done. And I'm actually going to change the sleep to 15 minutes. Nah, I like 30 minutes. 30 minutes is cool. Um, and I think this is probably a good place to pause it because I am a human and that's my whole thesis is humans can't trade better than computers. So why would I try? And essentially, I'll come back to do the next thing. And I think the next thing we need to do is if orders are already set, we don't need to set more. But if if there's only one order set, we'll do it differently. So that's pretty interesting and it's very needed to almost complete this algo and then I'll throw it all in the bootcamp so you get an access to it. I appreciate your time today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.